Doctor, the patients are waiting for you in the operating room. All right, nurse. Just how bad is it? It's bad. It's really bad. All right. You better suit me up. I'm ready for surgery. I hope you enjoyed that funny little intro. I wanted to show you what happens when I break a piece at a show or I just need to do what I call surgery. I admit I took a gamble on these ornaments and I didn't put any kind of sand or any kind of embellishment on them before I took them to my art show. And guess what? They didn't sell. And that's okay. That's okay. It was an experiment. Now, I, I think I sold four. But I think the reason that these didn't sell is because normally I'm selling ones like this. This one's really squished. I don't know why. But I normally sell ones like this that are embellished and have little ornaments on it now. Um, so I'm going to do a little surgery today and beef these up a little bit. It's not that they're ugly, they're just not as dynamic as the ones that have little sea creatures on them. So, so I thought what I would do is um, add my mermaid trash to these because that's going to be the quickest way and the simplest way to to get some um, some embellishment on this on these. And then I'll go back through and add um, probably a little sea turtle and starfish charms rather than the big so the small sea turtle and starfish charms the, these little stone ones i'm not going to use these metal ones anymore i'm finding out that these metal ones are tending to tarnish a little bit and um i don't know there's a few that maybe i'll use but i'm going to use these i'll link uh i'll i have a link in the description to the amazon store where i got these but I thought I would use the small ones rather than these big resin turtles that I've made because I think that's just a little bit too much on this small ornament. And it just makes it, I don't know, it's just a little bit too big. So I'm going to use the small ones. So I have my mermaid trash and I will put a link in the description to how I made this. The only modification I've recently made has been to add this leftover uh, gold gold um what do you call this oh shoot what is that the gold foil i've just added little bits of the the gold um gold foil to that and this is going to be so easy i'm going to add the mermaid trash to a little dish can you i'm going to put the mermaid trash in a dish i'm just going to dump it all in there and this is bits of sand and crushed glass and little bitty shells the gold foil. I want to add a little, a little bit more sand in there. Just a little bit more sand. There's a, ooh, that's a nice rock. And then I'm going to use Aline's Tacky Glue. You can use Mod Podge too, but Mod Podge tends to, to be a little thin, uh, a little thinner than I would, than I want. The Aline's Tacky Glue dries clear, and it's thick, but it also runs a little bit. And um, I will show you why that's so cool. So what I'm going to do, get this to go down here. It's so thick. And you've seen, you've seen me do this before in my other videos. But I'm going to add... Um, going to add a little bit to the top, like a good, probably dime size. Turn this upside down. So it's a dime size dollop. 
and then I'm going to take it straight just like this. I'm going to smush it around in, in this concoction and then it sticks, but then eventually it, it's going to start kind of spreading a little bit. And this is just exactly the amount that I need on there. Now I can just kind of spread it like this if I want larger coverage. Okay. And it's going to continue to kind of spread down a little bit. That's exactly what I want. And I can put the glue exactly where I want it. Now see, that just changes the whole look of the, of the ornament. I can put it on the bottom. I want to try also maybe a band. I don't know if that's going to work. It might drip too much. Let's just try that. Now that's kind of cool. It's like the bands of Saturn. That's cool. Let's do another one. I don't know. This just classes it up a little bit. It makes it different. So that's the other thing. I think the reason why the ornament, the plain ornaments did not sell really all that well is because um, it seems like a lot of people are selling these or a variation of these and, and resin art and acrylic paintings. And not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just to be successful in a crowded market, you have to be different. You have to do something that no one else is doing. Um, so I think that's why these ornaments in particular are attractive to, to buyers because no one else in the, in the markets that I'm participating in, no one else does these yet <laughs> I wanted to show on these last three I'm just going to put a glop of the glue you can already see the glue running let's see if I can get a little closer so these three right here okay I'm just putting the glue and then I'm going to take the sand and spread it on there. And the pressure of the sand is going to push that glue down. And it gives a really interesting look as it drips down. Just a really organic, flowy look. And then you can add. Just add a little bit more glue on. It takes a little longer. It uses a little bit more glue, but it's an alternative too. I'm going to do a little bit of that. Try to get some glitter in there. All right, so we're going to leave those. I got glue all over my hand now. So I'm going to add, go ahead and add the starfish. Starfish and turtle. For some of the sand, 
to drop down as the glue settles. Like that one right there is probably going to drop off. But I think these will definitely sell this time. So, nope. Surgery is successful. Oh, I lost two. I got a little lost two. Oh, that one's losing a little bit on that one. That's okay. Get this one, glue it back on. You just pop the stitches. Ah, let me glue that back on. Had a big, a rather big windstorm come up, and these fell off of my display. And like just fell on the ground. So I've got to do some surgery. I'm just going to take my green glass and in my tub a little cup full okay so i'm going to work on this one first and just put a new layer of the glass down and fix this palm frond here looks like i might have i mean this wind was really kicking it was right towards the end of the show, but my stuff went flying off of my display rack. And I had it on the display rack pretty, pretty tight. So it was a good wind. I don't really like these guys. I don't know if. I don't think anybody else had damage, but it came up so suddenly. And we, you know, we always have a lot of wind in Florida anyway. But this was a, this was a good one. All right, I'm just going to drizzle resin on that little bit there. Using KS resin, a liquidy split, which is the facet. And I will say that, you know, um, I'm using enough resin. The reason why these broke off the way they did is because of the wind. Like, you know, the resin that I use, I mean, I use enough resin. Let me just put it that way. I use enough resin, but you know, it doesn't matter how much resin you use. If the wind is blowing and it knocks your stuff 20 feet away, your stuff's going to get broken. I'm going to leave that one kind of plain in there and just put this little in there. I feel like I want to make this one a little fatter anyway. I'm going to drizzle right on the edge, just right where I've added the glass. Now, I don't know if you follow the crazy glass lady. Um, that's her name. It's the crazy glass lady. She's on YouTube. She makes the most beautiful glass Christmas trees, y'all. She makes them on glass and canvases, and they are absolutely gorgeous. Um need to check her out if you haven't already. She does beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, fix that. All right, I'm happy with that one, I think. All right, I'm going to move this one off to the side. And this one, too. 
broke along the side. I lost a lot of the glass that was along the side. So this was the safety glass. I, I'm just not, I'm not really happy. The resin just darkens the wood so much. I'm just not really happy with that and this one either. So I've got to figure, I need to figure something out, something else out here. It's probably going to take the rest of the, this resin. I only mixed up 40 milliliters. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take a little bit of the, the glass and just sprinkle it on top of where I've already had the resin. And I'm going to really make this one kind of fat and chunky. And it's going to look a mess right now. It's not going to be even on the edges because I am... Um, I am trying to cover everywhere that I've put the resin and then once it cures, I'm going to let it cure overnight and then I'm going to come back and shake the excess off. I hope that makes sense. It'll make better sense once, once I show you. It just looks like a hot mess right now. I'm going to fatten this one up. All right, now fatten up the sides on that one a little bit. And I'm going to put the resin down first and then put the glass on. And maybe maybe that'll help help this odd coloring. I think it's because the resin is soaking into the wood, and then it's it's darkening the wood up. So I'm I'm thinking that I might I might seal. You know what? That's an excellent idea. Seal the wood first. Yep. That's what I need to do is seal the wood first and then put the resin down. Okay, but can't do that now. All right, so that looks like a hot mess. Like I said, don't worry about it. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to get my white glass. See all that little dust? I need to filter all that out. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and put more resin on here. Yes, I'm handling the glass with my hands. It is really rather dull. I do occasionally get a sliver. Every once in a while, I get a sliver. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's not just that. What I'm gonna, I'm, what I'm doing is just saturating the top of this tree with glass, and whatever sticks to the resin, great. Whatever doesn't, I'm gonna shake it off. Okay. All right, that's our surgery for the day. I like these a lot better. They're nice and fat, like a fat little baby cow. A bit more depth. This is the one that was broken. Instead, did have some loose glass in there, just where I forgot. Did not put enough resin. Oh, it just gives it more. I don't know, more more depth. It just fills out the branches some more. Now this one turned out really good. I lengthened the branches. Let 
Yeah, I am glad I did that. And look how cute this one turned out. I just made it a little fatter. Yeah, I remember I... Ah, see, there's a gap right there. I didn't get enough resin in there. I can fix that. I'll fix that with some E6000 probably. Okay, these are the ones I'm a little bit nervous about. Um, but let's, I'm just going to knock it off on my table and then take my paintbrush and sweep it off. I don't have anything. No, I do. Old table mat. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. I don't really like that. Let me see if I can break this one off. Eh, we'll leave it. I can just dust that off a little bit. Glad I did that. Really, really glad I did that. Made it a little fatter. Just a little beefier. This one I widened, um, but I did lose a big piece in the middle. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better. A lot better. So pretty. All right. I mean, I didn't really lose that much, but. Remember, I added, I added a lot of the glass um, on top of that second layer of resin. So there we go. Surgery is finished. So take these to my next art show booth. And um, yeah, going forward, I'm definitely going to make these a little beefier. So... That's how you do it.